everything. Hey guys, so one of you guys asked me how to negotiate a salary when you've never had one before, right? So a lot of us are trying to better our life with code. We're going from jobs that may have paid minimum wage or minimum wage and tips or maybe 10 or $15 an hour. And, you know, the, the recruiter is going to ask you, you know, what do you expect to be paid or the whoever you're interviewing with? And you want to make sure you get paid the most amount of money. And even if you're not super confident, uh, you should at least get a better salary, right? A, a good salary. And I, I was one of those people that um, always was bad with negotiation with salaries. But I always relied on one thing to kind of get a fair rate. And this is just one thing I want to share with you. Because I know it's really awkward for a lot of people, right? You don't want to scare them away because you're like... Damn, I finally got a I finally got a job, right? You've been working so hard, you're to be a developer, you've been you've been in the grind, you're like, God, I, I'm so happy someone's gonna make me an offer. Um I can start working as a developer and not just practicing and studying, someone's actually gonna pay me to learn. And it's pretty exciting and you don't wanna mess that up. So when I negotiated my current salary and my previous salary as well, I uh the way that I negotiated it, it was pretty simple. They asked me what I expected to be paid, and I told them I wanted whatever the average salary for a web developer was in the region. And if you're curious on, you know, what you can do to find that out, because the and the reason I say that more than we'll we'll show you what that is and sites that you can look at. But the reason that I say that is because you can't really say that that you deserve to be on the above than the average, right? Because if you're a junior developer or you don't, you've never worked as a devel developer, it's going to be hard for you to make that argument. Now, you can probably go just below the average, but at least you'll have an idea of where you're going to float around. But I also think it's a pretty reasonable expectation. And you're not asking for anything out of the realm of possibility. Was this guy want to get paid? The average, right? The average of what the role should pay. You're not making a number up out of thin air. You can, you're, we're going to be going to just Google it right now, right? So we'll, I'll, I'll do my example. This is how I negotiated uh, my contract where I just said I wanted the average of a web developer in Tampa, Florida. And so you'll see right here, we have four salaries of positions that fall into that. And this is on Indeed, but you have kind of an idea. So just so you know, my salary is between one of these four numbers and I got the average, which was a, a nice raise from my previous job. But when I said that, that was it. Everyone was cool. They made me an offer within the range that I said. They made me an offer, I looked it up and here it was, I said, cool, thank you. But this to me, I think is when you don't have anything and you're feeling kind of self-conscious about counter countering and you're not sure what you should say, um, you can go to sites like Glassdoor. Um, that's that's probably my uh, my favorite site to ch check salaries to see what's going on. Um, it all depends, right? But Glassdoor is a great one. Uh, Indeed also has stuff. But I use Glassdoor mainly to review companies. But you'll see right here, the national average for a web developer 66,000 according to Glassdoor. Now, on the min side, that's 41,000, right? You don't want to go to the min. That's too low. Uh, you want to go to the average because if you're confident, and you should be somewhat confident, but you that's a pretty solid argument, right? The average is $25,000 more than the minimum. And you should always be striving for the average or the max. But when you start, this, you want to get your salary as high as possible. So when you're when you're negotiating and you don't have a salary to compare it to, you know, maybe you were working at Domino's like I was or what, or doing something like that, where, like, of course, you're going to make a massive jump in salary, so it's not an equivalent job. Asking for the average salary as a junior developer or developer um, is your best strategy, in my opinion. But definitely negotiate however you feel comfortable. But this is just one way, I think, that you can make a really reasonable request or re argument rather when uh, talking with recruiters because when they when they bring it to their person they're saying what does he want he wants the average that sounds all right like but if you go above it or you go below it because their job is to get you to take as little as possible really or get, get a qualified candidate that will for a good price and when you say the average i think i think uh you're kind of meeting everyone in the middle that's my two thoughts as always guys if you like me and you want to support me, you can at patreon.com slash codingtutorials360. And if you have a question, leave it in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer it. And don't forget to join our Facebook group, Code Tech and Caffeine. I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching. 
Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. If you're interested in coding bootcamp, check out devmountain.com where housing is included in your price of tuition. And don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share and support me on Patreon. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.